Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bed. Wazam, Gators! You're rocking with your boy Luke Leggio on a new edition of KGTR. School is well underway in the swamp, and that means one very important thing is right around the corner. That's right, football season. Let's pass it to Christian to meet our Gator football team. Howdy, Gators. I'm Christian Lindsay. The 2015 football season is coming up, and our team is ready to compete. Earlier this week, the Gator fans gathered in the swamp to get the fans pumped for the season. Performances from Cheer and the Gator Highline set the tone for the evening festivities. Parents, teachers, alumni, students came out and forced to celebrate. We have a young team, but there are many returning players that will keep our secondary strong. Uh, and on offense, our strength has got to be our running backs. We have two of those back. Those are probably the strengths on both sides of our ball. Julian Charles is a senior this year and feels the team has strong dynamics. He is confident in the preparation and work ethic that the guys establish in our summer workouts. I would say that our effort in the weight room and on the field has been uh, top notch. Arthur Hicks shared his insight on tonight's Jamboree. Well, we'll be playing Green Oaks High School in Jamboree this coming Friday, and I think we're pretty prepared for them. We've gone over the film, we've practiced their offensive sets, and I think that we have a pretty good grasp on, this and on them defensively and offensively. We're just going to run them into the ground. Our boys have big expectations for the season, are mentally and physically prepared. At 7 o'clock tonight, our Gators face Green Oaks at Northwood High School. Come out and support our team. Go Gators. I'm Christian for KGTR. Back to you, Luke. Do you want to see Scotland and Ireland with the senior class of 2016? Ms. Barclay, Ms. Hugh Jack, and Ms. Hooper are hosting the tour. See any of these teachers for more information. The senior trip is still open for the enrollment class of 2016. When you think of Ireland, you might think of St. Patrick's Day and leprechauns, but Ireland is so much more. Did you know that the HBO series Game of Thrones is filmed outside of Belfast? Remember the Titanic? She said sail from Belfast, Ireland before sinking. See castles in the Scottish Highlands and learn about the history and culture that inspired films like the blockbuster Braveheart and the Disney film Brave. We're going to experience such amazing places like the city of Dublin, Stirling Castle, Loch Ness, and the Scottish Highlands. You'll experience local culture, customs, and language and learn the histories of the places we visit. Experience the global classroom firsthand and see what you've been studying in your classes come to life. World travel makes students more competitive as college applicants are more likely to participate in travel abroad programs. Colleges and universities want to see students stretch themselves to experience different cultures, so that stamp and a passport can be a ticket into the college of your dreams. You can even earn college credit on this tour. Ms. Barclay, Ms. Hugh Jack, and Ms. Hooper are hosting the tour and can provide more information. Ms. Barclay is located conveniently in room A108 on the first floor of the main building. Drop by any time to pick up printed information. Send her an email from the Sharif homepage or go online to eftours.com at enter tour number 1661719NE and you'll see up to date pricing, discounts, and a tour itinerary. You can lock in the price of the tour and reserve your spot by registering online with just $95. Don't miss Scotland and Ireland in 2016. Go online and enroll today. With football season comes volleyball season, and these lovely ladies have been working hard all summer to build on last year's success. The volleyball team recently battled the Captain Shreve staff in the annual faculty game in preparation for the upcoming season. Let's go to Hardy with an update on our Lady Gators. The Lady Gator volleyball team started their season off with games against the Shreve faculty, parents, and alumni. <laughs> Lady Gators! 
The crowd was lively and showed up to support the Lady Gators. The faculty and players alike felt confident going into the final games. Both teams played an aggressive game. Yes. They doing good. They spiking, bumping, yeah. Satan. How are the Gators gonna be doing this year? <laughs> Faced with Coach Martinez, Coach Sharp, Coach Sella, Mr. McKinnis, Mr. Phillips, and others, the girls fought back. All right, so we're at the faculty game. Faculty's winning. Girls don't have a chance. They're going down in every way possible. At the end of the night, the faculty served at the Lady Gators with 25-21 and 25-18 wins. The season starts next week, guys. Come out and support your Lady Gators at home for their first home game against Mansfield on September 1st. I'm Hardy. Back to you, Luke. Man, oh man, am I excited for these fall sports. Don't forget to come out and support your Gator football team tonight as they take on Green Oaks in their jamboree. Well, thank you for watching. This has been another edition of KGTR. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV, the